Croatia would see them finish on top of Group H. Internationally, Croatian football is very much in its infancy, but that hasn't discouraged coach Miroslav Blazovic in predicting big things from a team he regards as the Brazil of Europe. The Australian connection, 19-year-old Ante Seric, is hopeful of seeing his first minutes on the pitch against Argentina. He says with the pressure off qualifying, Croatia will be at its creative best. But I think now, you know, against Argentina, we're a bit more, we're a bit more relaxed. Uh, you know, I think pressure, a bit, a bit of the pressure's down. So, you know, we'll be looking for, you know, to, to get a few moves going and that, you know, we'll see what happens at the end of this. David Bashir in Bordeaux for France 98. Well, it's been years since Croatia have held a closed training session, but as Andrew Orsati reports from Vitel, they locked the gates this week. That's because the dynamic duo of Batistuta and Ortega has got at least the Croatian coach looking over his shoulder. Vitel is famous worldwide for its water, but the arrival of Croatia's national football team has added another dimension to this small town, 350 kilometers east of Paris. Only Jamaica have based themselves further from any of the World Cup's 10 host cities. The Croatians can run but can't hide. There are now indications that external pressures are taking their toll on coach Miroslav Blazovic. Prior to leaving for Bordeaux, he stunned members of the media by shutting them out from Croatia's final training session in Patel. A lockout may not sound strange, it happens quite regularly, but it's the first time Blazovic has done so in four and a half years as Croatia's coach. The reason, he says, to concentrate purely on tactics for the game against Argentina. I think he's getting nervous a little bit because we're going to play Argentina this time. Nervous? Well, how nervous? Uh, maybe he's afraid of something, I'm not sure, but the players are not. Not surprisingly, Blazovic remains wary of Argentina's lethal attacking duo of Ariel Ortega and the tournament's joint top scorer, Gabriel Batistuta. Batistuta! Ako mogu nešto intimno svoje da kažem, ja se mnogo više plašim Ortege nego Batistuta. Croatia must defeat the South Americans to claim top spot in Group H. Having qualified regardless, Stimat says they're already focusing on the second round. Not about Argentina, we are thinking about Romania, Inglater, England or, or Colombia. And now it's, it's all about calculation, who to play. Andrew Walsati in Vitel for France 98. Well, let's uh, end the guessing games. The lineups are out. Let's have a look at them first. The Argentina. John, there are, uh, what, three changes uh, from the last game? There are four, in fact. Four. Uh, Vivas is in for Sensini, who is out uh, injured. Chamot is out uh, on the yellow card. Paz is uh, in there. He's a member of the 96 uh, silver medalist at uh, the Olympics. And Udinese uh, defender Pineda in for Simeone, who's being rested. And, of course, the big change is up front. Lopez out. Uh, and uh, Ortega will now join Batistuta in attack and Gallardo coming into midfield. How do you see that? Uh, Ortega very... generally, generally plays in the hole behind the striker. He does and probably still will play behind to some extent but Gallardo is such a talent, such a creative talent out of midfield. Lopez has been a little bit quiet so you see it as a very positive change for Argentina. Okay, Croatia. Uh, two changes there. Uh, Stimats is out, Maric uh, will, will be in there and the good news for Croatia, Bobic, uh, Bobin I should say, back in midfield for Djursic, so only the two changes for Croatia. And a big game, as we mentioned earlier, needed not only from a Bobin out of midfield, but Pozinecki. Who didn't, who didn't, who didn't, didn't perform last, last time. time. Argentina, very strong in midfield, very strong at the back, with most of the boys playing in the Italian uh, first division.